Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. This time, I want to come from the Gospels. I want to come from the New Testament. And I have made several videos from this question I am about to ask. I have not got an adequate answer yet I have been assaulted um, told I'm going to hell told I'm an antichrist I'm on um, split hell wide open I'm on burning the lake of fire and all that jazz yet I never get an answer because one thing your New Testament those of you who believe it it says in, I believe, the epistle, I believe it was the first epistle of Peter. He states, whatever someone asks you, you should have a, a ready answer to give them. An answer to their question, not an insult. You should have a ready answer at hand. So I'm going to read from the Gospel of John chapter 20. And I'm only going to read one verse. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God and your God. Now, here's the same question I'm going to ask now that I have always asked. To you who say um, Jesus of the New Testament, um, Yahabashai, um, Yehoshua, Yeshua, whatever you feel comfortable calling him, Yasha. To you who believe that he is God. Why did he say what he said here? Because this do not sound like a person who know he's God, believe he's God. It sounds very much the opposite of what many people believe about him. Seem like he didn't believe it about himself. And yes, I know we, we find um, verses where he say, I and the father is one. And we see the, um, the reaction of the, um, of the religious leaders. But still, him saying, I and my father is one, is not a declaration of saying, I am God in the flesh. Because if that is what he was saying, just because he said it, didn't make it so. Just because the religious leaders took it that way, still doesn't make it so. Because if that is what he believed, that is what he stated, why? Say what he said, but I say what he said here in John chapter 20, verse 17. How can God have a God? I just want anyone that believe the New Testament, anyone that believe that the New Testament, Christ, Messiah, Mashiach, is God himself, God in the flesh. How do you explain this verse? How do your God acknowledge and admit that he has a God. So if your God has a God, that is actually acknowledging that there's two gods. Him as the God who you say you serve, and yet he's acknowledging that he has a God. So for anyone who would love to um, answer that question, just do it respectfully. You could disagree with my premise. You have the right to. But yes, be brothers and sisters and yes, disagree honorably. Don't have to insult you. You don't have to insult me. But please explain. And I'm asking this of those that believe he is God. If you do not believe he is God, this is not a question for you. But mainstream Christianity 
believe he is God. So if you believe he is God, explain this verse. Shalom.